This tutorial will introduce you to a few basic features in SPIP. Let's open this file. First, we must remove the tilt or plane distortions. In this case, we will use the built-in global leveling from the general tab to remove the tilt. Note, you will find advanced plane correction tools on the modify tab. Let's have a look at the cross-section profiling tools. To draw a cross-section, simply select one of the profiling tools. This tool will place a horizontal profile in your image. This tool will place a vertical profile. Finally, this tool lets you draw freehand profiles. Please note that all profiles are available in the profile window. You can browse through your profiles by clicking the arrows or by simply selecting them in the image. The profile window offers two views. This view is called analysis view because it allows you to add cursors to your profile and take measurements. In analysis view, you can work on one profile at a time. Here you can toggle to comparison view. In comparison view, you can compare all the profiles. You can even move profiles interactively, which makes it easy to compare features. Let's move on and generate a 3D rendering of the image. Just click the 3D button. You can change the color scale from the ribbon. And you can use the view settings to create overlays, wireframes or change axis, light sources and more. Please check the manual for a list of keyboard shortcuts that allow you to move the surface and light sources interactively. Thank you for your attention.